This is a 2020 BMW X7 xDrive 40i. Uh, for those of you who follow me and subscribe to my channel, you probably know what this is. For those guys coming in or landing on my channel for the first time watching this video, I really appreciate you guys to do so. Uh, this is basically a virtual delivery and a walk around of this gorgeous vehicle. Again, this is a 2020 BMW X7 X Drive 40i. Uh, sun's out. This is the gorgeous tanzanite blue uh, metallic. So let me walk around it just so you can see how gorgeous this color is in the sunlight. So this is how it kind of look in the shade. And when the sunlight hits it, you can see that blue really pop. This one has the trailer tow hit, so for those of you guys wondering how it looks, that's how it looks. It's a standard 2 inch receiver there. And you can see how gorgeous the paint is. Look at that, a nice close up. Really, really premium paint called the Tanzanite Blue Metallic. So for those, for those of you wondering, uh, uh, wondering on the X7 and you know, what comes standard with an X7, even if you get a base X7, what do you get with it? And what you're wondering how this one is packaged, I'm gonna go over that now. So when you pick up a standard X7, what are your standard features, right? Uh, so you get a remote engine start, 22 inch BMW individual, alloy wheels which are bicolor uh, with performance run flat tires this is a different wheel set which we'll go over in a minute uh, leather sport steering wheel run flat tire sport automatic transmission with pedal shifters tire pressure monitor adaptive two axle air suspension alarm system universal remote control uh, comfort access rear view camera satin aluminum roof rails panorama sunroof sun protection glazing with lower floor mats, sport seats, lumbar support, seat heating front and rear heat comfort package for the front, fine wood, fine line stripe brown high gloss trim, auto four zone climate control, third seat row, ambient lighting, adaptive full LED headlights, uh, LED fog lights, high beam assistant, active protection, driving assistant, Sirius XM satellite radio tuner, Harman Kardon sound system, intelligent emergency call, teleservices, connected dive services, connected package professional, Apple CarPlay preparation, wireless charging, the extended Bluetooth and USB, BMW Life cockpit professional, BMW Gestic control, Wi-Fi hotspot, anthracite Alcantara roof liner, design pure excellence, cross traffic alert for the rear, collision warning with city braking, lane departure warning, blind spot warning, rear collision prevention and speed limit info guys also to note if you get a standard x7 it is basically a seven seater however this one uh customer preferred a six seat version so the rear bench seat the second row bench seat gets replaced by two captain's chairs which when we get in the car we'll we'll take a look at that in a bit also uh this is not a uh, design pure excellence this one has the m sport line package on it uh, so let's review packaging on this car it basically has a premium enhanced package which gives you the soft closed doors comfort seats front auto five five zone climate control so first row second row and for the third park assistance plus with surround view which means the car can parallel and perpendicular park itself plus it'll give you a backup assistant as well Gives you the head-up display, so info on the windshield, side sunshades for the rear, luggage compartment package, heated and cool cup holders for the front, BMW drive recorder, which is the, uh, uh, which is the camera system that can record uh, during an incident or scenic view, uh, which we'll go over inside and uh, hopefully I'll remember to set it up for these customers. Uh, M Sport package, so it gives you the M Sport exhaust system, M Sport brakes, M Sport package, uh 
black high gloss roof rails m leather steering wheel m aerodynamics package the wheel selection uh, which are these right here that we see uh, high gloss black window surrounds and this one also has the advanced driving assistance package which gives you the steering and lane control evasion assist cross traffic alert for the front active cruise control with stop and go lane keep assistant driving assistant professional traffic jam assist uh, like we saw on the rear, this one does have the trailer tow hitch. It is also for the package with the ventilated seats. It has a travel and comfort system, which we'll see uh, behind the headrest of the first row. Uh, and the interior trim on this was swapped for fine line black wood trim with metal effect, which is a gorgeous premium uh, trim. And this is a six seat configuration. Even if you look at the kidney grills, they have been swapped. And these are the high gloss black kidney grill with extended contents. The wheels here shown instead of the standard 21, 22 uh, summer performance tires. These are 21 inch M light alloy wheels, double spoke style 754M bicolor all season run flat tires. So yes, you could opt for all season instead if you're not one of those uh, fans who like winter tires during winter months uh, but yeah this is the gorgeous car so let's walk around take a look around it and see how gorgeous this car is So this is that Tertufo interior that I was mentioning earlier. Uh, super gorgeous, ultra premium interior, uh, which will sit inside and go over in a few minutes. But yeah, the, the front windows were freshly tinted as well. Uh, hence that sticker there. Full panorama sunroof, in fact, the third row also gets their own uh, own own sunroof there. The controls for the rear uh, side window sunshades, and also the panorama sunroof shade. That's your travel and comfort system right here, so you can uh, get an adapter system to plug in an iPad holder, suit jacket holder, hanger hook, or. A, portable table, USB-C charger right next to it. So you can charge your electronic devices. USB-C chargers down there, also 12 volt outlet, dual cup holders. And as you can see, this is a six seater configuration. So the two gorgeous captain's chairs. Uh, if you can see, these are comfort seats. So headrest can be tilted for a little more comfort. So when you do an X7 or an X5 or an X6 with the trailer tow hitch, which is this, you kind of lose access to that kick feature where you can kick under the bumper uh, to open and close the trunk because the sensors get blocked by that. <clears throat> All your controls for your seats, uh, for cargo space or to put your seats up and down. Right here also to control your air suspension the button that's illuminated right there push that and the car will lower or raise up and in fact over here it will lower for make it easy for you to load and unload memory seats for a front passenger as well and that's that gorgeous trim i was talking about with the metal inlay just super premium <clears throat>
You do have uh, all the storage behind the third row seats. Obviously you can put the third row seats down if you're not using them to grab all that trunk space. Uh, under here, you do have some deep storage as well. As you can see, all the summer mats are stored in here. Quite a bit of stuff there. Because uh, the car has the winter mats installed inside right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna close up all the doors, get inside and we'll go about and go ahead and set up the vehicle. Um, I'll go inside and go through the iDrive. So if you have recently picked one or planning on uh, picking up an X7, uh, you will know exactly how to go about and configure your vehicle to your personal settings. So let's go about and set it up. Uh, I'm gonna go over ideally this screen, which is the brains of the car. I uh, go in there and ideally set it up. Uh, just to briefly go over a few things. Uh, this toggle switch right here is to lower your car to adjust the air suspension to the bottom and to raise the height manually if you wanted to. While driving, however, the car does adjust the height according to how slow or fast you're going for comfort or for sport driving. All right, so let's go about and let's start setting it up. So first thing right here is the uh, media. So let's go into media and let's set it up to satellite radio. We'll go to, uh, let's say channel 53. You do, so I'm in uh, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, over here. You do get a free six month subscription here. Again, keep in mind the standard features I mentioned, how the packages are packaged here may be different from different countries. So please keep that in mind. Uh, they may have a slight bit of difference, ideally not too much of a difference. So let's set that up. Let's go to sound settings. And looks like it's pretty good. You have the upgraded Harman Kardon sound system, so it has the Logic 7 surround. You do have gesture controls in the car, so I could just put my finger here and one circle clockwise is volume up, one circle anti-clockwise volume down, simple as that. Uh, basically right above you over here, that glass there, that's a camera system basically watching below uh in in kind of this area so as long as your hand is within this vicinity oil bow resting on the armrest just do a full circle volume up volume down i can do this to mute uh, this gesture to unmute this gesture to go to the next station or next track previous station previous track if my phone is paired via bluetooth i would just point to the screen to answer when you're getting a call and then swipe right to cancel the call if I don't want to take that call. All right, so that was your media. Of course, you have FM, AM, Spotify, music collection, <clears throat> which is basically uh, your stored music in the car. So the car has a built-in memory uh, where you could plug in a usb flash drive transfer your mp3 files into the car so your music is always there in the car bluetooth audio which would be say if your phone is paired so it pick up that or a music device that you would pair you can play music off of that screen mirroring mobile devices and then personalized menu so let's go apple carplay is activated okay so that's your media settings uh com is basically communication or your phone so once we go under there, make sure you guys do check mark this. If your Apple phone uses, you want Apple CarPlay to work. So make sure this is where you would go. So you're on the home screen, come under com, uh, click on mobile devices, go under settings here, and you would make sure the Apple CarPlay is check marked. Also Wi-Fi needs to be check marked because it uses the car's Wi-Fi. Uh, it uses your Wi-Fi connection to connect uh, 
wirelessly for Apple CarPlay, all right? So in BMW, use Apple CarPlay as wireless, so no cable required. All right, so when you go into nav, <clears throat> let's go and set it up. I would go into map settings right here. I prefer perspective mode, so it gives you direction of travel and also brings out 3D mapping of uh, buildings and your surroundings. Okay, so I'll see if I, here we go, if we zoom in, see it brings up the buildings right there. So it's really cool. You'll enjoy it when you pass by in busy, crowded areas with lots of buildings or in downtown. Especially here, we have the CN Tower. You'll see it pop up and the Rogers Center pop up. It's really cool. All right, so let's get out of here. Uh, go on the car. Actually, before I go to car, let's go on the apps. You're going to set up that drive recorder that I was talking about. So I may forget that. Uh, so under apps, I would go under... Uh, drive record I can obviously touch the screen I don't want to touch it and put fingerprints it's also during COVID times that's why I'm doing a virtual delivery so the client who's picking up uh, they know exactly where to go and how to customize the vehicle for themselves so here we go drive record I'm gonna set it up first time you do drive recorder click on I have read uh, the information and I'm responsible and then I'm gonna go to start setup assistant uh, so the trigger uh, manually and automatically I'm gonna click on all right so I was at uh, uh, yeah so I'll be able to record it manually and automatically so if I'm driving through a scenic route I can activate it uh, manually how that works is the camera button right here so you go ahead and push and hold that for about three seconds and you'll see it pop up on your screen. Would you like to start recording? And then you just go ahead. So if I'm driving by a scenic route and I want to capture that, you can capture a total of 40 seconds of that. Okay, so manually, automatically click on continue. Let's go to the next step. I'm going to click on the maximum, which is 20 seconds. Uh, this is the length before the trigger okay so 20 seconds uh, continue and then I'm gonna click on uh, 20 seconds after as well so 20 seconds after the trigger by trigger it means if you while driving have a collision that's your trigger as soon as the car has a contact that's your trigger so it would uh, pre-record or basically it'll save 20 seconds prior to that initial impact and then 20 seconds after that. So you'll get a whole 40 second recording, which is pretty amazing. Okay, so you'll have that proof uh, and then you have an option to import it onto a flash drive and take it to the cops or to your insurance or whatever you need to. All right, so we've set it up and I click on OK and that's it. Let's go into settings to verify. Uh, so recording allowed, recording length, before and after set to 20 seconds each. Camera selection is all, but you can select individual cameras, but I've selected all, which means it's going to record. Use the front camera, the two side cameras and the back. So it's going to give you a full 360 view. All right. And then I can manually start recording from here. So notice it starts at 20 seconds and moving ahead. So let's wait for it uh, for 40 seconds to complete. And that's it. So if, we, if I go show recording, it's going to show all four sides. So I'm in the showroom. I'm in the... I'm on a fifth floor our delivery floor and basically it's recorded 40 seconds of that. It's going to be a still image right here because there's nothing moving around me. So you really can't tell, but you can then go ahead and delete that recording or here. This is where it shows to pause and go to previous recording, next recording, export it or to delete it. So we're going to go ahead and delete this right now. All right, so drive recorder has been set up. Let's go back to the car. And now we go and set up the rest of the stuff. So let's go into settings, uh, general settings, uh, date and time, I'm gonna set it to automatic time setting. 
Okay, so this will factor in your daylight savings and all that stuff, so you don't have to worry about changing in time. Uh, let's do day, month, year. You can do different formats. You can pick you like, all right? Uh, language, guys, this is very important. If you'd like to talk to your car, use the Hey BMW, Hello BMW commands. You ideally want to come in here. So again, I'm going to get out of here. So general settings, uh, you scroll down to, so actually you go to all the way out. So menu, uh, car settings, general settings, and then language. And then you would go under wake word and click activation with hello bmw now you will be able to talk to your car okay um so actually since we are on this topic let's talk to it uh let's try a few commands it can do a lot more hey bmw 11 sunlight park road all right our next destination is 11 Sunlight Park Road, Toronto, Ontario. Simple as that. You're lost. You want to go somewhere, home address, whatever address you have. Uh, just say it and it takes you there. Hey, BMW. Cancel guidance. I've ended the guidance. Uh, let's just try a few more. Hey, BMW. I'm hungry. Find me a pizza place. I found several restaurants. Okay. It's quite a few pizza places. Select where you want to go and it'll take you there. Hey, BMW. Uh, find me a coffee shop near me. I have found several destinations. Which okay. one should I select? So lots of stuff, coffee shops around you. Um, let's try something else. Uh, hey, BMW. Hey BMW, change ambient lighting to lilac. Okay, I've selected the lighting color lilac with okay. contouring lilac. And if you notice, the ambient lighting color changed to lilac. So you can talk to your car, do a lot of stuff. All right. Uh, so yeah, we were under car. And yeah, just generally talk to your car. The more you talk to your car, the better and better it gets. There's quite a few things it can do. Obviously, it does have some limitations as well. Okay, so general settings, uh, personal assistant, we set it up where you can talk to your car, unit sound settings, gesture control. It's all active. If you want to customize uh, this gesture right here, you can do so by what you want it to do so mute or play control display on off guidance to home recent calls notifications voice control music recognition so you can set up what you would like it to do there's another gesture right here you see that hand movement right here so open all five fingers close to open all five fingers close to a fist and then open again all right that's one gesture you can set it up as your home address so anytime you do that it will take you home or different things right here okay so really really cool stuff so a touchpad is referring to this so it's a touchpad you can write alphabets and numbers on it if you're looking for a contact uh, number name or entering an address something like that or just speak speak to the car and it will do it driver attention camera is referring to that camera right in the center the car has advanced driving assistant uh, package so all your driver assistant a controls on the steering wheel and the camera watching you for attention so it is check mark means saying it is active right now okay trailer mode uh, if you are towing something make sure to activate trailer mode so the cameras will work much better for you obviously the winding harness everything will work uh, properly for you uh, fatigue and focus alert let's set it up to sensitive so if you're getting too tired the car will uh, if you're serving a bit too much at night late driving in the car was going to suggest okay pull over grab a coffee uh, data privacy guys this is important for all services including analysis to be on uh, if you want your connected drive uh, app to work uh, in sync with your car 
or you can go with individual selection as well. So if you see here, it says safeguard mobility, my BMW app and customer portal, remote 3D view, connected learning. All these things are kind of important. Otherwise, these things won't work for you. Uh, people give us a call all the time. I'm wondering why this is not working. This is exactly why it's not working because you haven't check marked this, okay? All the stuff is just to help you for your car to get better and better with, with usage. So make sure it's on, guys. Wireless charging tray, activate reminder. So that tray right there is a wireless charging tray. As long as your phone is equipped with wireless charging, put your phone on that tray and it will charge wirelessly. Obviously, you do have a USB port next to it if you want to use a USB. If you want to use a 12-volt outlet, you do have a USB-C as well uh right in there in your armrest console all right and then we go under driving mode so you can individualize how your sport mode would work uh, which is referring to your drive controls right here so your eco pro comfort sport and adaptive so your sport you can configure how the car will perform uh, also you can configure the eco pro as well uh, exterior lighting so one touch turn signal daytime running lights for the rear welcome and goodbye uh, door handle lights welcome carpet light pathway lighting set to 20 seconds you can of course change that to longer or shorter depending on how long or short your driveway is. so it's helpful at night time you're basically when you lock your car your headlights would stay on for 20 seconds to illuminate your driveway so it's safe for you to get inside driver assistance so safety and warning let's set it up front collision too early side warning mitigation side collision warning to on lane departure warning let's set it up too early with steering intervention active blind spot detection too early with steering intervention so everything is top notch right here set up so driving speed limit uh, adjust manually versus let's do show current limits so it'll pick up current speed limits around you and show that to you uh, steering assistance automatic lane change and driver attention camera is also on so while driving with the advanced driver assistance package on everything activated you just indicate the car will change the lane if it's safe for it to do so All right really cool stuff if you guys want to know how these actually work on the road uh, watch one of my other videos where I'm driving a 2020 M850 Grand Coupe with this exact package on it and we'll show you exactly how these things done. Even to show you how the car can parallel park itself, perpendicular park itself, how the backup assistant works or how the traffic jam assistant works. All of those really nice features. Okay, so your assisted driving view is also on, which we will uh, configure to show over here. Right now, it's showing the maps over here. So parking and maneuvering, let's set this up. Active PDC. PDC is short form for park distance control, which is your sensors. Uh, activation, so you can see it's check mark, it's on. Active PDC with brake intervention. This you want to check on, all right? Because when it's doing the automatic parking, you want the emergency braking to be on just in case the car notices any movement around you. You want it to brake just in case a pet ran uh, from behind or beside the car or a kid uh, with a bicycle comes in or something or just a regular cyclist or a car park next to you moves, it would end up braking itself so to avoid collision. Okay, automatic parking, alert if parking space detected, cross traffic warning, panorama view, GPS base. This is your park sister volume. So we'll keep it where it was to standard factory settings at the midpoint. Steering wheel feedback, let's set the intensity to strong. Once uh, I would allow these uh, individuals picking up the car once they're used to it, then you can set it up to uh, to a little milder setting, so medium or light. But strong will give you an idea of what the car is trying to tell you when it's trying to tell you that. And light elements means uh, these lights on the steering wheel also would come on for you. All right, so let's get out of that. Displays is, okay, head up display. Let's make it a bit brighter so it's more visible. Height, I can increase it. So yeah, you can customize yourself. If you're not a fan of head-up display, you can switch it off as well. Okay, uncheck that. 
can rotate it in different uh, degrees and a bit of an angle if you kind of sit in an angle and what all it can show you so and let's activate sport display so when you go in the sport mode it will change the display head of display slightly it'll be in a sport mode so really cool stuff so not sure if you can see it there in the distance uh, it's picking up in the white square 15 kilometers so the street below me uh, it's internal so it's 15 kilometers and the speed beside it showing zero which is I'm not driving so I'm sitting at zero right now okay instrument panel refers to this and so now if you see it's setting a map view I can change it to go to route preview or go to assisted driving view so when I do that, the center console changes, goes blank. So when I'm using my driving assistance plus features, it will show me an assisted driving, which is kind of like this, but it'll illuminate and light up and show you cars around it and all that good stuff. Okay, so again, yeah, play with all these features. The reason I'm doing this, so you know where these things are located, you can go and play it. Control display is this screen that we are looking at. Uh, so I can switch it off, switch it back on. Uh, control the brightness right and all that good stuff uh, driving mode is on which means if I go into my different driving modes which are again oopsie sorry which are again right here see adaptive eco comfort and sport uh, the view here changes so let's try I'm gonna push on sport so red colors pop up, comfort was where it was right here. And if I go to Eco Pro, it goes to blue. So that's the economy mode. Will save you generally about 18 to 20% fuel, depending on how you're driving your car. Okay, so let's get back to that. That was your driving mode. And then you go to doors and access. This is also cool. Uh, you want to play with this tailgate height, uh, tailgate height you can set up. If you have a lower roof line, you can set it up to to kind of stop at a lower height uh, but i'm going to keep it max otherwise you would end up bumping your head too if it's too low uh, digital key which is talking about uh, that uh, white card right there since it's already in the tray we can go ahead and activate it so let's go activate digital key and bam it says digital key successfully activated so now you'll be able to use that little credit card style key to gain access to your car by just tapping it on the door come in the car put the key where it is in that tray and start the car within 30 seconds and you're good to go so if you accidentally forget to take your keys you still have access to your car okay uh you can also remove all the digital keys or reset function uh comfort access this is also cool keys if it stays in my pocket i come normally to the door grab the handle unlock and shut the door tap it and it would lock now i can also do unlock when approaching the vehicle and lock when walking away so it would do those for you it's really cool and let's activate all of these as well once i activate summertime so i'm going to do fold mirrors in when locked so when you lock the car the mirrors will automatically fold make sure to uncheck that for winter because if ice and snow is getting in there you don't want a motor to stress too much so you ideally want to leave that unchecked all right because you know how your mirrors and stuff freeze during winter you want to uncheck that so this is why i'm showing you so where you can come and do that okay it's under doors and access uh, so interior lighting let's go ahead we did speak to the car earlier and asked it to do ambient lighting to lilac uh, so that's where we're gonna leave it it's a nice gorgeous color so we're gonna leave it there but a lot of color options bronze bronze and white orange orange and white white blue blue and white green green and white. Uh, lilac lilac and white <clears throat> I'm gonna increase the brightness here and dim for night driving i'll leave it to the user to see if they like it or they want it dim during night drive i love it nice and bright so i'm going to leave it there seat comfort you can adjust seats through here even the second row uh, seat and armrest heating as well when your heating comes on it's activated right now for everything climate control guys this is a very other important feature so do come under climate control if you want to operate your car's remote engine start, this is where you would come in. 
Okay, so under climate control, go all the way down to preconditioning and ventilation and go to remote engine start and check mark start engine. Okay, for climate control. Now you will be able to remote engine start from your key, all right? Which is basically the lock button, the BMW logo on your key. Push that three times, let it go, it will start. And if you wanna shut it off again, push that three times, it will shut off. Uh, keys and buttons, so driver door only for safety. I've left it at that. Uh, so when I grab the driver's door handle, it'll be only the driver's door. When I approach the car, it'll be only the driver's door. I can set it up for all doors if you always travel with more than yourself in the car. Uh, just for safety, I've set it up to driver door only. And then also when you unlock the trunk, it's only the upper tailgate that would open. You can set it up to both tailgates or the tailgate and doors and everything that sort. Okay, so it's all customizable. So that's pretty much for that. Um, uh, generally here is where you would come and activate your driver assistance stuff again to use this. Watch one of my other videos of me driving the car. I explain this in much detail and you would be able to see what's happening on this screen and how the car reacts on the road ahead. All right, so let's get out of the car and I'll show you how remote engine start on this would work and uh, let's see if there's anything that comes to mind i'll show you that but that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching guys i would really 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 appreciate you guys subscribing to my youtube channel like the video comment below of what you like what else you would like to see and do click on the bell icon to get notifications for more informative content like this I'm going to switch off the engine. Also, when I switch it off, I can go under settings here and I've selected earlier, automate my habits. So that's really cool. If this is check mark, that means the car is starting to memorize how you would like to operate your car and it's going to give you suggestions. So for example, in winter time, you know, if the temperature drops to 10 degrees, you always switch on your heated seats or your heated steering wheel. It's going to start doing that for you or suggest that for you. So some really cool stuff. I mean, start using your car. You'll love it more and more. Once you drive a BMW, trust me, folks, you won't want to drive anything else again. Apart from all the options and features and these gadgets, like just to drive alone is so much better. You're going to love it. It's so much fun. All right, so let's go out of the car and I'm gonna lock it here. All right, so to operate remote engine start, uh, basically here, this is the key. I push on the lock button three times, one, two, three, let it go. And the car starts up for you. So now you decided, you know what, I don't wanna go, car's warmed up, whatever the case is, temperature is good inside, I can shut it off. Again, the lock button, the BMW logo, one, two, three, let go, and the car switches off, simple as that. Right, so in this particular X7, say I want to fold down the second row or the third row, you can do all of those by these buttons here. Uh, since this is a six seater version, the second row does not fully fold down. It basically moves up front to the max it can, it will lift up and raise up to give you max cargo. It doesn't fall flat in the six seater version. However, uh, the third row, you would be able to fold flat. And they're all one touch. I just push it once, let it go, and it will fold. Same thing for the other side. If I want max cargo, uh, I push on this button right here, and it will, uh, the rear, obviously, third row will fold down flat. The second row would move up to its max that it can and give you the max cargo space. If I want all the seats up, I would just push max seat and then come up. And again, uh, to raise the car, lower the car. Uh, here, let me show you. So I would just push on this button right here and the whole car would start lowering. 
Uh, so I'm not sure if you guys can tell here, but the car is lowering right now. Uh, you see that? So it did lower. So it just makes it much easier to load, unload uh, the trunk. If you have something heavy, you don't have to lift it as high, right? So it makes it much easier. Uh, once you're done, obviously you push this button uh, to close the tailgate. Uh, sorry, push this button to close the tailgate. And you can push uh, this button right here to close the upper lift gate. All right, guys, once again, uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Really appreciate you guys tuning into my channel. For those of you regulars, I love your comments. I love your emails, your text messages, your phone calls. Thank you. Thank you so much for all that love. Uh, and for those of you who are new, I would, again, really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, like the video, comment below of what you like, what else you would like to see. And as time permits, I will... I will reply to you or try and make a video of those if it requires that. Uh, and do click on the bell icon for more informative content like this. Again, thank you for watching and see you on the next one.